Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and I have an idea! I have taken some of this horrible looking sticky wrap paper. It's uh, cling film. It's very good for keeping things from spilling in the fridge. And I've put it around a foam core or a foam brush that was gifted to me. I've cut it so that it'll fit. It's a little wider on both sides and, and at the back. And I'm going to try it with some Floetrol. Don't mind that dark stain in there. I don't, it doesn't usually make a difference. I have a, some Amsterdam white that I intend on using and a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I am going to give myself color on both sides along with some black, which is uh, which I've been doing quite a bit lately. That's closed. I checked all my other bottles. I don't mind combining the two. I might even indulge in a little Arteza. Grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Let some of that go right down over that edge and that edge. And try not to worry too much about it because I know I'll do something with it later. Now I'm not sure why I want so dark because I really want this swipe to be mostly orange and pink which might be a real problem with that purple. But if anybody can do it, I've got enough practice, so maybe I'll just give it a shot anyway. And the whole point is to not affect the paints or mix them with each other too much. Yeah, I'm fussing. Let's move on to the other side. I like to have the unevenness of an organic looking edge between. I guess I'll just follow my instincts. Whatever, whatever will be, will be. I gotta keep talking to you guys, I think. The prep work, I, I'd like to just do the prep work in advance some one of these times so I can just move on to whatever's fast and interesting and now what I've been doing is putting Anita's white metallic down the middle or the Amsterdam white, but by using the Amsterdam white it's somehow magically produces cells and I'm going to just stick my finger in there until that mostly disappears. Throw that in the bucket so I don't get tempted to use it. I'm going to follow all my contours. So I know no matter what I do I'll have the white I need. Might be kind of cool anyway. Might look like something else like a cave. It does kind of look like a cave. And I think what I'm going to do is grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula, my number one. These are available along with the OXO Omelette Turning Spatulas on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is easily accessible on the link tree, which is right under the video and has my Facebook groups, my web page, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and Sachi Art. What else? I can't remember what else. It might even have a link to my YouTube playlist. It's been a while since I looked at it. It might be time again. All right, so this is, like I said, precarious and dangerous. I'm going to let that go down over the edge, but it's going to become purple anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So now you should come out <laughs> anytime. That looks like it's a little bit plugged, doesn't it? Let me grab my tweezers. Uh, these sharp tweezers right here, they are the bomb for cleaning out your bottle tips. That's a little better, I hope. Okay, <laughs> not really. Fortunately, I have plenty of other colors that will work better. I want to use some of my hot orchid. right here 
I want some gold. I just recently realized that I like the the way that the swipe thing, the swipe tools pull through. I'm gotta I gotta lay off the purple. <laughs> All right, so here's some 24 karat gold with orange laced in it. Orange, is, orange does usually take things over if you use enough of it, or, or very little of it even. But um, I think in this case it might be kind of interesting because that hot orchid is pretty strong. I kind of want to keep some of that white. I think I'm going to indulge myself in a little bit of black enamel right down the center. I think I'm also going to go for this other orange. And now we're going to see what my new tool will do. And if it doesn't work nicely, I'm going to move on to some other tool. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to just dip Cross your fingers. I don't think I can scrape this off into anything. Well, maybe I can. I have a lid. That might work. So let's just go from the center right out. Let's start in the middle. Let's put an angle on it. Let's use the paint I get off of there. Oh, that scraped off pretty well. Let's try the other side and go in with that angle again. Learning how to not put too much pressure on because it requires a very light touch. I'm just going to keep angling my swipe. I got to get, <laughs> I'm going a little bit cockeyed, but I've got awesome, awesome cells and even cooler colors. So maybe I can go back again. Yeah, I am definitely going unevenly. I could tip this. I could just follow my original lead. You have to barely hold the handle on this to make this work. But it does work. And I got pretty leftovers. Boy that scrapes off pretty clean. That's pretty awesome because of the, the give in the foam. I like that black. I might decide to drag sideways. Oh, I got, I went right down to some purple. It's just gonna make it interesting. I could have left some of my residuals in between because I think they're pretty cool. This is gonna be really fast. I should tell you guys, there's over 91,000 subscribers on my channel. And if you're one of them, thank you very much. And if you're not, please subscribe. And if you're new, please be welcomed. I'm going to use my paint on my little foam brush with my little sheath. And that's pretty neat. That's, that's a different look than most things I've seen. I mean, it's similar. It's still a swipe. But it's a beautiful swipe with beautiful colors. And that's Floetrol. And that is, and that is, and that is. And those were all dry clear. I did an experiment where um, I put a big dose of leftover Floetrol that, from my dish that had some paint in it, and I put it on my Lola Fee silicone mat, and I was expecting to be able to peel it up the next day, and there was nothing there. I mean, like, zero. Absolutely nothing there at all. So I'm really contemplating whether I might want to put some skewer action. I could drag a basting brush through, but I don't think that that's something I want to do. Maybe instead of a skewer, I'll just put some odd lines in here with my spatula. Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula, available on the Amazon link. I want to put some more lines in there. I want to be a little careful because I really do like what I've got. And I probably don't need the lines. I am going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to grab a little bit of this paint that's in this dish. 
just to take the, the distraction of that white line down the edge away. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I think I just said that. The Floatrol does distract me, but it definitely dries clear and it's not a problem. Except for right now, because I can't ignore it. But if I drag it out a little bit, then it'll be less distracting for me. Okay, that's incredible. I'm going to be doing that again. And I might use that tool on a much larger canvas, which seems like a really good idea. The cells are tremendous. This is the only part that isn't. I went, I went a little too deep on the pressure. It doesn't require much pressure, and you sure get a lot of great cells. Nice, nice, nice colors. I wanted to do something with dominant oranges for a while now. Break up that hard line. Or make a new one. You could just waggle through. I, I kind of like the idea that it's a Technicolor wood grain. Because that's what it reminds me of. I actually have a painting called Technicolor Wood Grain from 20 years ago. This looks this reminds me of one of my old swipes that I made a business card out of and some postcards. And a beach towel. The beach towel is awesome. So I love you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I think I said that already. Um, I'm going to be looking at my edges to make sure that I have all my my voids filled with some kind of color. I'm going to tell you thank you for all the contributions that help keep me painting all this time. Thank you. Thank you for all the wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted. If you're interested in getting the monthly drawing, you can see what the prizes are on the video. That's the exhibition video that's shown on the end screen. There are some amazing cells here. I can't really tip my camera. Wow. The way I used to. Because I sort of fixed it so it wasn't going to be as off square as it's been in the past. But I want to go over there. Can I, can I, oh please, please, please. <laughs> anyway, so where was I? Teespring Clothing under the video has my designs and if you ever find that you really want one of my designs added to Teespring for all of your print leggings or t-shirts or Pixels.com, Fire Nerd America, both, both of whom are under the video, and FireNerdAmericanPixels.com are on the link tree. Uh, you can always ask me about that. I do sell my artwork. My email address is included underneath the link tree. My Amazon link is on the link tree. If you shop there, it's at no what it costs you, and it helps me out. And I have two books there. One is Because I Can, and the other one is Unlimited Possibilities. Also, my Facebook groups there are there, and they are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I'm going to just zoom in because this is so awesome. <laughs> I'm getting some great colors lately. So what else can I tell you guys? Expression Start Studio Gallery fans and collectors and Expression to Start Studio Gallery totes and more are both Facebook groups. Fans and collectors has albums you can look at the artworks in and fans and, and totes and more has merchandise. Actually, it's a shop now button that will take you to FineArtAmericanPixels.com again. Uh, my community board on my YouTube channel has uh, tomorrow's video usually. My YouTube channel banner on my channel has the icons for PayPal and Patreon. If you make a donation, you're automatically included in the monthly drawing. You can also find that link on the link tree. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, it is under the video. When you click show more, the description will show to you. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, so if my paint is heavy, it does not crack. On the link tree, Pinterest where I post a lot of videos and plenty of merchandise. Inter Pinterest, <laughs> Instagram is where I post my dailies when, I have, when I'm working. A couple of them a day, usually, sometimes. And uh, Twitter. I don't know what I'm doing with Twitter, but it's still there. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Saying, I love you guys. I'm so glad you're here. I post every day at about 3.15 and on weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights at 10 p.m. So I hope you tune in and uh, share, 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 and watch longer. And um, if you watch the commercials, it probably will help a little bit. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now. Priscilla out.